myself and Joanna, and we're just gonna talk about our trip to Berlin and kind of what we thought about it, um, the hostel stayed, how much time we had, um, our traveling, our transportation to and from, and kind of our budget. Yeah, so we traveled with Euroline with the bus, and it was the first time we did that. No Wi-Fi, even though they said they had Wi-Fi. They lied. They didn't lie. We just like, they didn't lie. We just didn't read the fine print. I think you have to take the, the, the business. business. Yeah. yeah, and we took yeah. the promo. Yeah. Which is why we paid 80 euros. And there was like no leg room. <laughs> There's no, no lecture, room, room, no Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. no basically everything. No bathroom. Yeah. This, this lady in front of me kept like leaning back to stretch like this and hitting me in the face. It happened like three <laughs> times, and every time she's like, "Oh, sorry," I would be like, "How do you not know I'm here?" Yeah, I'm by still now. Here. Yeah, we're all just close for nine hours, and I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. The I creepishly wanted a rope. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm a big hair rubber, and this dude had like fluffy hair. I was just kind of—he was having trouble sleeping. And I'm like, oh, I just oh, have to do this to pay you. I was going to help you out a little bit. But they were yeah. watching Toy yeah. Story. They were, yeah. and they were watching Toy Story. So it was like I kind of really want. Them. <laughs> Yeah. We had two different kinds of muffins. Nikki had a fitness, fitness and Ferb lunch. lunchbox. We had candy bars. We had a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> we had wine. Um, brownies. brownies. So pretty much you want to travel with us. But it was good for the bus ride because they stopped, but only really to let people get out and smoke cigarettes. There's not really enough time to get out and run in. You got a soda that cost yeah, the, five euros. Yeah, I got a soda that cost me about five euros. <laughs> Although realistically, we didn't really need food. I mean, we we, we, we left at 11 yeah. o'clock at night. So technically, we had already had dinner. Yeah. And technically, we don't normally eat at 11 o'clock at night. Well, well, you don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my life. It's nice though in the morning to have the muffins. Yeah. Because so we took the Euro line that goes through the night because that way you don't lose the travel day. So we thought, awesome, we'll sleep on the bus and <laughs> get some coffee. Yeah, get some coffee and then we'll be good to go for the day. And I was able to sleep on and off in between legs cramping and stuff. Yeah, but I think the way yeah. there for us, we were able yeah. to sleep a lot more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. same here. Oh, okay. too. Yeah, not yeah. Not yeah. Because the bus ride there, the full <coughs> bus, no free seats. The bus ride coming back was so a little better seats. because there was more free seats so you could kind of move around a little bit without feeling like you were disturbing everyone else. Can I point out that the seats are smaller than like airplane seats? They're like the smallest little seats you ever did. Like, for a tour bus, like, it should How be big. Think we, well, I think on this bus, at least, it seemed like they had more seats crammed in there than a normal, like, yeah. coach bus that we're used to taking back home. I think yeah. they were closer together oh, and definitely. more of them, so it was crammed. Keep in mind that, okay, so we didn't necessarily only take the bus because of not losing a day. It yeah, it was cheaper. It wasn't though. We thought it. We would thought be, it would. We be. thought it would be more convenient. <laughs> and that. Yeah. You get right to the location. Because you get right to the location. Ah, <laughs> uh, because there was supposed to be like two blocks away. <clears throat> um, so we thought it was like you know cheaper because if we if we added up like getting from our town to Amsterdam and then like from wherever the airport was to the hostel. It would take three hours, which I kind of did anyways. And then, you know, yeah. but yeah, yeah that, I feel like it's something to point out because it, it was pretty much the same price whether we took the train or the, the we plane. We would have saved a lot of time with the plane. But yes, that is true to point out because we, it should have only taken us about 15 minutes to get from the bus stop to the hostel, and I think it ended up taking us about an hour and a half. Yeah, all together. All together because you we don't have Wi-Fi, yeah. and for us, we don't have phones 
smartphones that get cell service in most of Europe. You don't have Wi-Fi, so you can't really use the maps, so you're trying to read a different language and figure out a metro map, and anyways, it ended up taking forever. But when we got to the hostel, the metro stop was right in front of the hostel. And That's not the only talk. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> the wrong metro was... But eventually, we knew. Yeah, really. We knew. We were like, huh. Okay, the name of our hostel was Circus Hostel. Yeah. And yeah. then on the opposite side of the street, there was Circus Hotel. And here's a quick, like, two minute free. Yeah, out. like, wait, we're not staying in a hotel. Wait, we're not in the right place. But wait, did we book the right place? Yeah. Yes. Do we owe our money? Is it going to yeah. be like $80 each? Uh, my my immediate customer. reaction was, oh my god, where's the confirmation? Please tell me that we're, yeah. we have a hostel. And me, I'm just walking in the hostel. Like, <laughs> yeah. what's the problem? <laughs> up in the right spot and it was awesome. So the people front desk were great. Get to our room, it was lovely. Met a very guy. Clean, yeah, very, very clean. Nice. Met a guy who was staying in our room. Turns out he's from Oakland, California, which is right near where we're kind of from. Which and he lives in Utrecht, which, which is, is near basically here. where we live. Yeah. yeah. So we met them. He <laughs> seemed kind of nice. He's quiet. We unpacked. Mm -hmm. We moved on with our day. We went and there's some footage of that that I'll show. We're in Berlin, in Berlin, trying to find coffee. We're going to get Nikki coffee. <laughs> Someone's a little grumpy, she needs her coffee. Coffee and food, we have to go feed her and give her coffee. We can't find a cafe. Well, we found a Starbucks, but we decided nay to the Starbucks. We're in, we're in Berlin. Nine to the Starbucks. Nine to the, sorry. Nine. We're in Germany. Germany. In, Germany. in, in where are we? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's go there. It looks it looks good. They'll have yummy coffee, I'm sure. We're here. Get a club. Shawarma. Shawarma. The police always instructed you what to do. Even though our platoon leader or battery commander would always be there. Well, maybe not the battery commander, but our platoon leader. And they were in charge of us. But the police were always there too. Yeah, you can see where the wall used to be, and then they have audio of people who lived right in the residential areas right around here on the border. Let's talk about how, like, it was controlled entry in and out of the border. If you wanted someone to come visit you, you had to go down the police station first and get permits. Very interesting. And we're all slipping in the snow. But we found coffee and orange juice. Yummy. It was very pricey when it was It was teeny, teeny tiny and it was three euros and fifty cents. Oh jeez. A little obnoxious. I mean it was fresh squeezed, but it, was it wasn't like it was blood orange. It was like, <laughs> you know. They weren't fancy oranges. They weren't fancy oranges. They were just expensive. She had a clean machine and then she had fresh squeezed them. She's fucking fresh. We love the fries. <laughs> <laughs> we have cups of coffee. Yeah. Well, yesterday, when I saw your, um, we went and saw the wall you were standing like near the Berlin gates, but you know, walking takes a lot of energy. So now we're stopping to get some coffee. Your hair looks so hot. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I found all the people. I'm walking around all day and it's like, where, where is everyone? Have you seen any so we saw a lot of the monuments. Yeah, we walked a ton. We did we walk a ton. Much. You can walk to everything. Yeah. Pretty much. Walked around the park. I don't know what it's called. That's right across from with the gates. <laughs> the gates kind of are the entrance to the park, and there's um the there's the uh, memorial. What was shit? What was it for? Was a it war memorial. War memorial. Oh, oh that was one of the main things that we all noticed. Yeah, this was in the seventies. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was so recent. Yeah, this is not. Old. Yeah, I I know in my head I was like stupid American. But that's fine. In my head I was thinking all of this happened. You know, World War Thousands Two. Yeah, yeah, like. A long time ago, the wall, all of it, but yeah, then, yeah, learning, mm -hmm. you know. Especially because, like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think I learned when I was, like, in eighth grade or so, like, eighth and ninth grade. Yeah. And so, we and were, I like, thought 15. about it since. Yeah. I was 15, so yeah. that was, like, 2005. And then this all happened in, 19, I mean, it finished in 1990. So to think that, like, it was 15 years ago, it's not right in history. Book. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just, like, much right. older. But then yeah. again, I didn't pay attention in history. Class. I used to, yeah, I was never interested in, like, world history when I was yeah. younger. And then now, like, now going and seeing all these places, I'm like really bummed. I'm like, oh, I feel like this would be so much cooler I if I knew what it was for. Yeah. yeah, I've like seen these places and then like, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. Yeah. and I understand like the, the countries and where they're yeah. located and yeah. who they are. Yeah. So then that, we come back to the hostel, hung out. What did we do that night? Not much. We, we went to the bar and got yeah. coffee Yeah, yeah, you went out with... I went on a walk because I mean, it's in the low time. <laughs> Basically, None of us have really slept for like yeah. too long, too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. too long. We were, we were living off of muffins, so we were That's all like on friends. edge, grumpy, like <clears throat> occasionally snipping at each other, and then I just stayed as a little time. Yeah, so she went off to hours. try and find an H and M in Zara, which I did. <laughs> it's like thirty minutes away, which. Note to self, 500 meters does not mean five. <laughs> yeah, I thought it did, and then I kept walking, and I was like, this is like two miles now. Oh, it's standard <laughs> versus metric. It, it yeah. bites you, it gets you. But anyways, when I came home, went to bed, we were tired, um, we had plans to go to the museums the next day. And then, Nikki. So, around five in the morning, I wake up to this very strange noise, and I'm like, Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm a very deep sleeper, so it's incredible that I woke up to this noise. But I hear this noise, and I turn on the light, and I see our new friend <laughs> standing right at the corner of my bed, just peeing on the ground. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 get out, get out, you're blacked out drunk, like pushing him out the door. She flipped on the lights at this point. So, so at this point now, it. everyone in the hospital... Ten of us. Ten of us. There was yeah. ten of us in the room, so it caused a big commotion. Everyone is awake, not knowing what was going on. So at this point, Leah then is like looking down at me from the top bunk, and she walks down the stairs. And I walked down. And I'm like, okay, we have to go to the floor. At this point, we had locked the dude out in the hallway, and um, because he was drunk, and we didn't want to deal with it for the minute. <laughs> and so I come down, and I'm like, I don't see. I don't see any pee. He was peeing? Are you sure? It's like five in the morning. I had just woken up. I'm like, okay. And then I see my boots, my brown leather boots. And they're Which wet. I had an adventure with it. Oh, yeah. The boots right. have, they've been having an adventure this past six months in Europe. You know, they're not fancy anymore by any means. But still, they were the only shoes I had with me besides a pair of flip flops. And, um, it was snowing outside. So <laughs> I'm the 30 degrees. Yeah, so I'm not, not wearing the flip-flops. <laughs> and they were um, soaked. So one toe was completely wet, and then he got inside, like he peed inside of the other boot. Oh. So yeah. he still to you here. <laughs> he peed on my boot. <laughs> he peed in my boot. <laughs> Thank God he didn't pee on Nikki, because that could have <laughs> happened. I would have woken up to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried waking up his friend. His friend was completely blacked out. Yeah. yeah. Done. Yeah. He, he not just woke up. Yeah. yeah. And this bad. drunk peen man is banging on the door now, like mumbling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he probably has no Zombie idea. Man. Yeah, he has no idea how he ended up outside. He has no idea what's going on, I don't think. So we let him back in and we like... After much hesitation. Yeah, we're like, what do we like do? Five minutes. 
But so I, I was like, I have to go out into the hallway to get paper towels, but he's in the hallway, and I don't. What do I? Can't even look at what do him. I do? Like I don't want to see him. Like I'm so mad and grumpy, and so finally we, Nikki opens the door and lets him back in, and we like direct him to his bed, and he just climbed up back in bed. He has no idea what happened. He was like mumbling things that were like like he was pissed off. He's like, nah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Somebody <laughs> said you just peed on, like you just peed. Oh yeah, he like, goes, no, I did not. No, I did. Yeah, <laughs> and climbed up and yeah. passed back out. But so that yeah, for the next I don't know twenty minutes or so, I was in the bathroom scrubbing my shoes with soap and water, and just I just drenched them because I was like, I'd rather have them completely wet and get. Clean. And then came into the hospital and cleaned the floor. Yeah, and then I had to clean the floor because it turned out there was pee on the floor. It was just kind of like hidden. At least we in the morning though we were set my shoes by the radiator. Woke up the next morning, they were fine. But we <laughs> urine's were, clean. Urine's at least sterile, right? Yeah. It wasn't vomit or oh, shit. Yeah. So it could have been, been worse, I guess. Yeah, but it he was, really could have thrown up. He could have yeah. puked, and that would have been that would have been worse. And it was yeah. terrible. Uh, yeah. So, so then the next morning, Joanna sees you. Yeah, I see this this dude's cell phone like unlocked, and so I'm like, um, are you drunk? Are you up? And he's like, no, 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 I'm not drunk. Like I'm pretty sober. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, you 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 owe my friend an apology because you peed. And he goes, <clears throat> if if I did in fact do that, I'm yeah. sorry. Do you think I wake up? I'm not gonna start making these things up. Like seriously, poor kid was there. Poor kid. No, I mean he was very, very. He was very embarrassed. Yeah. And he did come over and he said he tried sorry. to say sorry. He would like and like I. a puppy, like tail between his legs. Yeah. Like super. Very embarrassed. Well, on Sunday when we went to the DDR museum. Which is morning. Very, very cool. It was I totally really recommend it. it. Oh, it's yeah. like an interactive museum. Yeah. So you can like pull drawers out and like see the yeah. drive the old car. Especially yeah. for us who are not into history. Yeah. yeah. Just at one point weren't. Yeah. Weren't like it was very it, it, it definitely got me more involved in it and like so the GDR Museum, yeah. interactive, awesome, tons of information. You get to see the daily life of what it was like lot. to live in East Berlin. Then we go on about a three mile, four mile. A very long walk to yeah. the Jewish Museum. <laughs> so we get to the Jewish Museum and we're both mentally and physically exhausted yeah. at this point. Yeah, um, and we hadn't eaten because we were waiting to eat until after. Yeah. So we like had our snacks and stuff, but and it was more crowded there than anywhere else we've really been. It was a very, very big museum. I yeah. wish that I was more energized for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And like we had done so much reading at the last museum that when it came to this one, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was just like, oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful museum, really so cool. So much history. Yes, tons of history. It doesn't only focus on uh, the Holocaust and that. It a lot literally of goes through Jewish culture and religion and talks about all of it. It covers it all and. Yeah, they had artifacts there from the Holocaust, you know, things that were taken from families and then later recovered. They had the history of the Jewish religion. You could go and watch videos about like, certain traditions. <coughs> yeah. Um, like the cup we with learned, the two handles. Uh, that was really cool. smashing of the glass yeah. Yeah. at a wedding. Yeah, so stuff. Yeah, my favorite, I think, was um, in one room they had the cubes where uh, they had my stories. Favorite, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, stories so of people who were growing yeah. up Jewish in Germany, basically. And Most all over, of I mean, Well, and all over Europe. Yeah. You could listen to the audio of people telling their <laughs> stories of just different little things about growing up. So that was really cool. But yeah, my favorite one of those was like the girl who was like a really pretty Jew. <laughs> and <laughs> so she was like, I never had the issue of people asking me if I was Jewish or not because I was pretty. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. So, like so nobody ever questioned me. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I'm, yeah, more power to you, yeah. But <laughs> it's just really funny. It's very blunt. Blunt. So, yeah, the way she posed very blunt. Yeah. But yeah, so that museum, I think, I don't know if I would have done them reversed, like done Jewish first and then DDR. I think I kind of have a rule, or I want to make it a rule, to not do more than one museum in a day. day. Yeah. I think you, you're just like mentally exhausted from it. To really like understand each museum, I think it's better yeah. to do yeah. separately. Unless yeah. you're a huge museum buff or history yeah. buff or something, which we but are especially not. Especially the Jewish museum, I think, is a day trip within yeah. itself. Yeah. Like maybe if we would have done the DDR and like say the cathedral, yeah, like, that would have been right. more than okay. But the Jewish museum was massive. I mean, we 
I think we definitely saw a lot and we read a lot, but we also skipped yeah, half of it. Yeah. And that, and that was like two hours. It, yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah. just like two hours to get through all of it. And I don't even think we saw like, all yeah. of it. Yeah. 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 And it's a little, it's not hard to get to, but it's not convenient to a metro yeah. station or anything. It's not that we figured it's out. It's like in the middle of, it's like right in the middle of the residential area. Yeah, it's kind of, it just pops up. Um, there are buses, I guess, that you can take, but we just Still didn't figure, figure it out. out. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, and then after that, we went back and gathered our stuff from the hospital. Oh, we got Mexican food. We went back to Alexander Plotz. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna go get Mexican. It's an Alexander Plaza. It's not like, <laughs> and then it was like three hours of search. We couldn't like find Wi Fi. No, yeah. that's another thing. Berlin, I don't think, no is very Wi Fi friendly. It no. said it had a city Wi Fi, but it, like, you could connect to it, but it wouldn't, like, it says you were connected, but you couldn't, like, actually do anything with it. Yeah. Like, everything. Mm -hmm. was I never got connected to it. They have the cloud, much like it. London. It's called the cloud. Um, but I never even got connected to it. We ended up, we went and had pretzels at a beer garden. Um, I had a pretzel, which was awesome, and apple strudel, which was also awesome. I and liked the apple strudel. I think the apple strudel was amazing. It was so good. I didn't like the pretzel. <laughs> But then I probably eat some pretzels. No, I didn't really appreciate the pretzel sandwich either. <laughs> and um, the sausage. The was sausage was, was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so we were very happy with our meal there. We were very excited to like go to Germany and try like real like German sausage. And like we, <laughs> uh, we wanted like spicy sausage and they didn't have anything on the menu, which was weird because it was the Hoffer House. Hoffer House. Hoffer yeah. House, yeah. So it was like, you would think the, that they would like, have. Yeah. I think even the pretzels in the train station that we kept walking by might would have been, been better. better. Yeah. I was just so excited to finally get a pretzel. I had been wanting a pretzel the whole time. Yeah. So I think I was just like, pretzel, so excited. So then after that, we made it a mission to find the Mexican restaurant. Yeah. 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 We were yeah. satisfied with our meal. All right, Dunkin' Donuts and paid for Wi Fi so that we could look up the address. Mm -hmm. it, Which ended then up, it ended up not being Wi Fi, but it ended up being like Internet a cafe. Internet cafe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, false advertisement. <laughs> But uh, we found the Mexican But restaurant. we found the Mexican restaurant. And it was so worth it. It was it. amazing. Yeah. 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 They had food. I was full, so I didn't buy anything, which, of course, I then regretted. So just always buy the food. Buy all the food. <laughs> yeah. Because um, they had food for on the bus. Because we picked up our luggage and then went and basically got ready to leave. The then we the finally got back to Utrecht early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we just arrived at five in the morning, and our bus got there a whole hour Four. early. We get there, yeah, five twenty or whatever, and the first train out of the train station leaves at five forty-five. So we're perfect. That's fine. We can go hang out for whatever fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. hopefully Starbucks will be open. <laughs> because we all have to work. Well, most of us yeah. have to work Monday morning, so we're just going to take a few hours before going back into the host family's house and starting. So I work a second long bus ride. Yeah. So we were our plan was to get coffee and then take the train back to town. Yeah. Which was gonna cost us a total of like two three euros. Each. Yeah. yeah. But we were there an hour early and we didn't feel like waiting out in the rain. No. So we decided to take a taxi. Which normally costs about thirty euros. Every time we take it from Utrecht, it's cost about thirty euros <laughs> to get from there back home and by, by, by four. four. Is cheap. Not yeah. that bad. We were thinking, all right, cool. We had enough cat. We had forty euros in cash. Really, that should be more, more than, than enough. enough. Yeah. Which but, side note, Holland is by far the most expensive oh, taxi yeah. place ever. ever. Completely. Don't better. take a taxi if you no. have, like can do anything else because no. it's insane. It's insane. Um, and yeah, so then the taxi driver, I think he realized that we didn't speak very much Dutch and just took slight advantage of us. Maybe he really didn't know where he was going, but I mean, we're not far from Utrecht, so for him not to understand how to get to our train station here, it should have been easy. He ended up going this weird back way to get on the freeway, a different freeway than I've ever been on. A different freeway than I took on, than yeah. I take when I drive. And so it ended up, he, we pull into the train station. I'm watching the meter, like we have 15 minutes to go or whatever, and we're past 40, and then we're almost to 50, and then we're at like 40, I think we ended up, it was 47 something, and we're like, we don't have that Which is approximately cash. like 55 to $60. Dollars. Yeah. You for are for a 15, 20 minute taxi ride. It was insane. So we're at this train station at like four or whatever in the morning. And we're like, I mean, you can drive us into town and there's an ATM. So basically 
we get out, and I was like, listen, we have 40. I can pull all of the change out of my bag and give you that. Yeah. yeah. But like, like, really, I have, like, some pennies. She's like, no. <laughs> so we As we're explaining to him, like, we only pay 30. It was but, insane. Yeah. And, but luckily, he didn't, like, haggle us too bad. No. We kind of just told him, hey, look, this is all we have. Here you go. I think we ended up giving him, like, 45 euros. So it was pretty close to whatever it was yeah. supposed to be. And he took off. <clears throat> and then we got on our bikes and rode our tired butts home. We all recommend you go to Berlin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I traveling from Utrecht, it cost us 80 euros for bus. Yeah. And round trip. Round trip. And then 19 for the hostel. For, the hostel. for a very, very nice hostel. And then you can pack muffins and food. Yeah. Free. Yeah. I don't think I spent more than like 100 and. 20 euros maybe. with everything with everything 130 yeah maybe yeah. that's kind of how we've been traveling is um we'll go on a trip a month we try about some months are busier than others yeah this month is incredibly busy yeah, yeah. Um, so we did berlin um that was awesome next week uh we have a school break and so i'm going with my host family to germany to go skiing hopefully if there's snow you guys are off. We're off to Morocco! <laughs> Africa! <laughs> oh, we might not funny. come back. <laughs> oh, we're we'll back. definitely do an update with that yeah. stuff when it when And then we we're heading to London at yeah. the end of the month. And then we do London to go see Beyonce! <laughs> and, yeah, so we're trying to keep planning trips. We're trying to plan some great stuff for spring and summer. And hopefully we'll keep doing these videos after each trip so that we can kind of give tips and advice and our I, yeah, our experience, you know, based on the places yeah. we're going. Yeah. Okay, until next time. <laughs>